you may know them as part of the Britain's Got Talent dance troupe Diversity, but Perry Kylie and Jordan Banjo are joining the world of early morning alarms and lots of coffee. Yeah, good luck. The pair have decided to bubble up together so they can take on their new adventure as the hosts of the Kiss Breakfast Show from Monday. Perry and Jordan join us live now. Morning. Hey, guys. Hey guys. How are hey. you? Hey. We're good. Good to see you. Now, look, I mean, you know, you guys have done lots of stuff and, you know, this sounds like it's going to be fun, isn't it? You're just playing music to the masses. I mean, this is great. I mean, it's worth getting up early for. Oh, my God, more than worth. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is ridiculously early. But, I mean, <laughs> yeah. this this is genuinely no different to what me and Jordan are doing in, like, everyday life. You know, we're together, we're making jokes, we're talking about things that are happening in the world, listening to music and just genuinely having fun. So the fact that we get to do that in the studio and bring that to everyone wherever they are in the country is just, yeah. it's just incredible. What, what, what time will it be on air? Six. Six. Yeah. Six. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, so we get up. We're going to get in, uh, we have to get up about three o'clock to leave about half three to yeah. get in. So, so it's an early one. You guys probably know that, though. Yeah, we do all too well, and it can be a tough one. How are you both with early mornings? I mean, Jordan, I know you've got little ones, haven't you? So you're probably used to waking up reasonably early, are you? Well, oh, yeah, it, it, it's, I'm already being trained up, and it's, it's different. Now I wake up, I come in, I see my friends and my team, I interview big people, we listen to good music, or it's stay home, get up at the same time, and have cornflakes thrown at me by a two-year-old. <laughs> so I'm going to have a kid. That's why you've made that decision. Then, Perry, I, I hear reports that you may well be turning up in your pyjamas. Is that right? I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I'm all for that. I mean, I thought... If I'm getting up early and we're on the radio, no one's going to see me. But if you could see this studio, there's cameras everywhere. So there's no way I'm even getting away with that. And uh, I've seen what pajamas he wears, and trust me, no one wants that at five yeah. in the morning. Yeah. Not good. Want that. No, no part. Uh, yeah. uh, listen, John, we're, we're just grateful he wears pajamas. I mean, it could be all, all <laughs> over the shop if he, if he didn't wear pajamas. <laughs> Um, so, so just tell us quickly about the show then. So, um, lot, are you all right there? Are you OK? I just smacked my head on the table. Oh, my God. Oh, please, don't, 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 don't do anything serious. Health and safety uh, at work. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> These two are going to be absolutely fine. This is going to be great they together. They haven't even started yet. <laughs> don't injure yourselves just yet. Uh, now, look, t tell us quickly about the show then. So, music, uh, big interviews, just lots of fun. Are you going to be? Are you going to sort of? I mean, you know, I, you know, you listen to breakfast shows now. There's always a lot of fun stuff, comedy stuff, and you know, trying to you know create a bit of humour at that time in the morning because I think we kind of need that in this world, don't we? Hundred percent. I think that's our plan. You know, pick a lily and smacking your head on a desk. That's what <laughs> our breakfast show is going to be about. Um, but in all seriousness, we've been really, really fortunate in like. Me and Pell have, like, you know, a relationship that you kind of can't learn or buy. We've grown up with each other. All of our experiences have been together. So to have the opportunity to put that friendship on air and bring people into it, um, I think that's the main brief for us. That's the thing we're really, really excited about. Whether you're a caller, whether you're a huge star we're interviewing, it's going to be really, really fun to bring everyone to the same level and, uh, yeah, just have that fun with everyone. Yeah. And what about other things that you've been up to? Because I know that, uh, you know, I guess lockdown for you guys, when you're used to rehearsing together, performing together, how was that whole process? Was it frustrating, the fact that you couldn't do that as usual? Oh, yeah, super frustrating, you know? I mean, we literally spend... It's not just me and Jordan spend every day together, us, the entire group. So mm. it, it was a complete switch-up, so we almost had to find, like new ways to kind of get on with life you know everything these days is like through zoom so we was doing zoom classes and you know constantly on facetime but it's just a completely switch up on life and it's just weird isn't it yeah it's been a strange one and i feel like you know i've said this before it's all relative do you know what i mean like there's we're we're complaining about it because it's like, oh we couldn't rehearse together and, and see our friends there were some people who were living alone who didn't have any contact with any friends or family some people who are key workers some people unfortunately got ill so in the grand scheme of things we're really lucky but for us personally, making that adjustment of, you know, normally being out every day, whether it be rehearsing or at Kiss or performing or whatever it is, to then be at home and cut off from everyone, because mm. I know we're all a big group of friends and it sounds really cliche, but when you grow up with people and spend every day with them, they're, they're family as well, right? So it was a tough one not seeing mm -hmm. everyone. Yeah. And look, you've also been really busy in the last uh, few weeks and months, um, being very vocal about Black Lives Matter as well. And a lot of us will have seen uh, the video that you guys recorded. Uh, obviously meant a lot to you, Jordan. Yeah, no, it did, man. I feel like it was... I think everyone's grown up with different experiences. And I feel like, for myself personally, for a long time, I felt like it was something I couldn't speak about uh, especially on like in a public space without 
a severe backlash. So for us to kind of be in a position where stuff started to come into, you know, the limelight, everyone was talking about it, not just black people, everyone was recognising there was a problem and everyone was recognising that stuff had to change and wanted to be a part of that change. For me, as much as it's been, you know, it, the trigger was some was an awful event. The fact that it's now happened, I'm only seeing positivity in the yeah. situation, and I think it's incredible to mm -hmm. be a part of it. And I think it's incredible that we can even talk about that stuff right now. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, it's really important. Per Perry, how do you feel about that? Because you know, I, I guess as well for you guys, you've got a voice, you've got a platform, and it, it's a strong message you're able to put across. Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's like Jord, like Jord was saying. It's just nice that we can just speak about it now, you know. And we constantly got all these platforms, especially now with Kiss. Like, and this this is what we love about Kiss. Like, there's no boundaries on what on what we can say. Like, we it's, it's freedom of speech, you know. So we can we can push that message. And I think it's just super important that yeah. we all talk about it. And you know, like we, like he's been saying, like it's not a trend. We can just continue to talk about it. There is an issue, and we need to address it. And it's just amazing that we now can. Yeah, I mean, and you said you just mentioned there. I think what a great time for you guys to be hosting one of the biggest breakfast shows in the country as well, Kiss, and that that says a lot as well that there is some positive stuff going on. And you guys have got a bit of responsibility now. You know, you can be you can openly talk about issues, but you're obviously going to involve everybody and all the listeners at the same time. Hundred percent. Like like we keep saying that that is the point for us. It's not about coming on coming on air and going oh. Here's 15 grand and win a cash prize. Like, that's not the only thing we want to do. You know, we want it to be like that kind of group chat kind of feel. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. we're all on the same level. We're all friends. And it's, it's, it's just, we have that dynamic and we've been really lucky to experience that and grow up in that. And I think, especially in these times, you know, whether you're commuting, whether you're still at home, like, whatever it is, you want that company, you want that feel-good vibe, and yeah. I think that's what me and Pell can really bring to people. Mm -hmm. So we're excited to get started and hopefully make a positive impact on people. Oh, we yeah. look forward to it. Well, best of luck with that. Thanks very much for joining us. And we know that you've got to reschedule your yeah. tour. That's coming up as well, the Connected Tour. We look forward to seeing yeah. you all back in action live oh. soon. Thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate Thank it. You. Cheers.